the thing that that at least was the rumor or maybe mm. you had even said it was right. when you started winding down because i think that was in about 2009 and you left yeah. in 10 yeah and one of the reasons why you left was because the, the pg-13 or pg yeah, direction i just I just, I just felt like they went against everything that our business was mm-hmm. you know i just I, put, I really felt like they were just killing our business man they killing the like the art form of it which was what, what i way? loved about it well, you know, I mean, just things like that. They, you know, they were going to start doing things that just didn't make sense. Like, you right. know, it just uh, that was just something that that we did, man. That was something we, you know, we kind of mm-hmm. bled. You know, mm-hmm. this was one of those things. In that, certain situations, in certain uh, very, you know, especially like this, so when there's the a drama. title involved yes. and there's a cage match involved. Yeah, I mean, it's just it makes things it makes heart harder for people to to really get sucked into it too. Mm-hmm. And they were taking us taking our tools away. Mm-hmm. They were taking our you know our foam away. We're just they're robbing us, robbing us of our tools. Of you know, this is how we made a living. This is what made us so close. This mm-hmm. is what made. This was the our, our this these were our little secrets. You know, yeah. this, uh, this is what made made us special. This is what made fans respect us. Because I, 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 I still say this when I think the guys today, they're never going to have the same respect because we went to war. Mm-hmm. We went to war and we bled for our fans and we you know we did all this and that and it was harsh. We brutalized ourselves. You know, to entertain them, mm-hmm. and they respected us for that. The guys nowadays, even if they're willing to do it, they can't. Mm-hmm. You know, they can't go to war like we did. I mean, Interesting. Yeah. Interesting so I don't think they will, the respect factor will ever be there. It won't be the same. Hmm. I don't think so. Did you find? Uh, how did you find? You finally did come back after four years. Uh, you know, you know, like I said, it was it was weird uh, at first, but I, you know, really because. The crowd was just so strange, man. I just mm-hmm. didn't get like some of the random chants, and they just started r- chanting random stuff in the middle of matches for no reason. It's like, like they what? weren't even, like, uh, like yes, sir. like they saw you know in the middle of yeah, CM Punk for and um, you know a match that even after he left the company, we'd be out there having a match, or even not even just my match, but other matches. CM Punk, mm-hmm. you know, like why? <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't get it. Right. You know why? I get to, get that they miss him, but why are you chanting his name now? You know, did, did you feel, I mean, as far as like you know, the old PG thirteen or PG rules now? Mm. Did you have any time where you felt handcuffed by that? Um, yes, I mean somewhat. Not, not so much though. I mean, I actually, you know, it was even, even a couple times when I asked Vince if we, if I could do this or that, and and surprisingly, he said yes. I mean, mm. Really, like just simple things like nut shots. Can we, can we, can we, can wow, because those are pretty taboo. Still. Yeah, no, there's stuff. When um, is there any way we can get away with a nut shot? Yeah, I think it fits the situation. I like, wow! I just ran. I'd leave Gorilla. I'd just run out, <laughs> you know, before, before he had time to think mind. about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was a couple of things. He, you know, he he let us get away with, and I was actually mm-hmm. surprised. Of course, you know, there's no blood involved anywhere. But right, I never was never really in that match where it was it necessitated blood. You know? Yeah, and these are even little things too, like you know, heel tactics, like using the ref or yeah. you know, yeah. pushing the ref into the ropes so the yeah. guy falls on the top rope. Like that stuff is all yeah. gone too. You yeah, know, they, they say it's hard to be a heel now, right? Because you can't use a lot of those tools that yeah. we used to use all the time. Yeah. You know, so so it is what it is. I mean, I guess you know, I, I didn't I didn't notice it that much, but I kind of you know, mm-hmm. I, I always I reached for you know. The golden ring. I always, you know, wanted to see what I could get away with. I mean, if I can get away with, it, I will. If I could bring something back. Well, and you also have a little bit of leeway because you have proved yourself. And in this day and age in WWE, there's a lot of guys that that haven't. Yeah. And that's why they love having yeah. Batista back or Jericho back or Brock or whoever. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of guys that really can do that. Yeah. Another, you know, what I noticed uh, as well is there's not a lot of guys there who question what they're being right. asked to do. They don't say. Well, this doesn't make sense. That's they don't right. go and talk to Vince. They don't, you know, talk to the agent. And say, I don't like this, man. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't feel, yeah, doesn't feel right. And questioning is not a bad thing. Not at all. It's not. Doesn't make you a jerk to, no. to do that. No, it's funny you should, man. You should participate. You know, this is yeah. your character. You have to be protective. Be protective of your character, of your storyline. Mm-hmm. That is what's. I'll never forget Shawn Michaels saying, "This is what's most important to me." My match, my storyline. Yeah. <laughs> my match, my storyline. What everybody else is doing is their yeah. business. Yeah. <laughs> this is what's important to me. That's a great. That's a great yeah, point. You know? Absolutely. 